has COVID. It's really important to know what strain they have, what variant they have, because we're going to treat them differently. We're going to take care of them better if we know exactly what they have. For that reason, we've been working on point of care tests so that when someone comes in within 10 or 15 minutes, we can know what strain they have. Yes, it is the case that Delta is pretty much everywhere now, but what's really fascinating is that Delta has gone from being unreported a number of months ago to being the predominant strain worldwide. In this context, it's really important to know whether other viruses are capable of taking Delta's place because uh, genetic studies suggest that there will be those that are more likely to evade immunity and also likely to spread faster. If one of those moves in to a Delta area, such as ours, we need to be able to identify it at a point of care level that is right away. We're very excited about the prospects for the use of an antibody created at Limmer by Dr. Scott Desain that specifically recognizes only the Delta variant. Scientifically, this was something that wasn't clear could be readily done, uh, but Dr. Desain has isolated antibodies from patients here at Mainline Health who had convalesced from COVID and has found some very interesting antibodies, including the one that uh, he has found now to be Delta specific. Right from the start, we've had tremendous support, philanthropic support. Um, we had support at the highest level from um, the administration here, as well as the, the board to, to do this work. And our focus has been on trying to move forward science that will help our community. So we've really been focused on diagnostics because it's actually kind of scary when someone comes into your hospital with a communicable disease and you may not know that you have the information you need to treat them as well as you can. It's a lot like cancer therapy. Nowadays you need to know what the molecular mutation is to do targeted therapy because you might miss if you have the wrong diagnosis. So we've really been focused on that and, and that's, that's really what it means to be here at Langan Institute for Medical Research is we're focused on patient impactful research. Really important jumpstart for this work was our collaborators over at Thomas Jefferson University, uh, Matthias Schnell and Christoph Wierblich. I heard an NPR radio interview with Matthias and I said, I didn't know he had these antigens. So I called him up and then he talked to his colleague, Christoph Wierblich, and they sent me the antigen by the end of the week. Um, at the same time, I'd been speaking with Larry Livernays and so they were able to recruit patients right away. And so literally within four weeks, we went from not thinking about COVID at all to actually having our first cell fusions underway. Our goal, having made this antibody, is to make it available to companies that have expertise and platforms in lateral flow assays, point of care testing. We would like to enable them to take their test to the next level.